In this session, you will learn about adding a design to the template. Let us take a sample design. Assume that what you see on the screen is the design your graphic designer came up with. Now we need to update the AEM template so that others will be able to create pages that look similar to it. You can see some sample text here. The sample text is what authors update in the page. You can also see some effects on the button. Uh, assume that this is what uh, what is added by your graphic designer. For creating any design, you have a you need to have a CSS file. Let us see the CSS file first. It is there in the assets folder. This is the CSS file your graphic designer has created. First step is to get the CSS in the CRS repository, that is, awk repository. In this case, we have only one file to upload. Basically, we need to upload this file to awk repository. We can upload it using the CRST Lite itself. In real time, you may have lots of files to upload to CRST repository. There are many ways to do it. We will see them later. So in this exercise, we will use CRST Lite to upload the CSS file to awk repository. Go to the web console miscellaneous admin. This is a new web console for you. You generally use it for generating, for creating pages for designs. Go to designs. Now create a new page for your AEM company design. Name it as AEM company and click create. The page is created. Now again log into CRST Lite. Uh, in, in CRST Lite, go to etc folder, then select designs. You can see the page AEM company appearing here. Expand that. Here, create an empty file named static.css. Note that the CSS name should be static.css. Save everything. Expand static.css node. Select JCR column content. Select JCR data and double click. Click the browse button and navigate to the CSS that you are planning to use. In our case, we are using style.css that you have seen earlier. Click open and click OK. See that static.css is updated with the content of this style sheet. Now save it. Now we have ensured that the CSS file is uploaded to the awk repository. Now we need to update the template. Uh, go to the AEM companies folder inside components expand home page open body.html basically we need to update body.html with the html page with the html codes that your designer provided you uh, this is the html code that your designer has provided you i have opened the html page in a code editor let me select the entire code i'm going to copy this I will overwrite the code snippets with the HTML code that your uh, designer shared. This is the code that, that our designers shared. Let me see the page. And I'm going to remove this CSS link. Assigning the CSS to a page is done at a later stage. So that's the reason for me to remove this link for the time being. Let me save it again. 
This is the beauty of cycling. In early versions of AEM, you have to convert the design into GSP, which could be time consuming. Adobe also provides a bracket extension, a tool for designers. This tool allows designers to work directly with AEM templates. We'll explore it later. And now go to site admin. Allocate the AEM company page that you have created earlier. Double click it. The page appears like this. Let us assign a design to this. Click this particular icon. Go to properties. Select advanced from here. In this design, type ETC design. Then AEM company. This is the design that we uploaded to CRST Lite, or uh, uh, to the. Uh, this is the design that we uploaded to Oak repository. Click done. See that the page, the look and feel of the page got changed. You can see a lot of sample text here. Ideally, this should be removed from the page. It is for authors to fill or update. We have seen how to do it earlier. We need to provide the passes component for others to add component. As a next st step, let us do that. Now let us update the template to include passes component so that others can edit the pages. It's pretty simple. I'll go here. I will delete the first paragraph. Now I will add a paragraph tag here I'll paste the code to include passes we have seen this code this is the code now here also we got some sample text we need to remove that too here also i will add the code for parses for the time being i'm going to change this as i parses this is primarily because uh, this is a parses that you can use uh, when you have some kind of a sidebar now uh, refresh the web page uh, that you created that is aem site aem's company now you could see that you, know, you can see here the parses component you can see here the uh, iPasses component. So basically, this this will allow you to this will allow your authors to add more components from here and uh, update the content. So that, that that's about this particular session. Uh, I have uploaded uh, the package uh, in my GitHub. Use it and let me know what you think. Thank you.